Hi, would you like to learn some useful vocabulary to talk about TV in English? Welcome to Jen's Jugyo. My name is Jen and today you're going to learn more than 15 different expressions to help talk about TV in English. Our first expression for today is watch TV. The verb that we will use for TV is watch. I spent the whole weekend watching TV. These days, people watch too much TV. It is also useful to remember that we watch something on TV. So the preposition for talking about watching TV is on. I watched the show on TV. Our second expression for today is a TV show. The majority of people will just use the words TV show to refer to a TV series or a TV program. You might also hear the question, what's your favorite TV show? Criminal Minds is one of my favorite TV shows. My favorite British TV show, which might also be interesting for many language learners, is Mind Your Language. This is a great British comedy TV show. These days, I enjoy watching Japanese and Korean TV shows. Our third vocabulary word for today is episode. An episode is one installment or one segment that is part of a TV series or a TV show. One TV episode is usually 30 minutes or 60 minutes long and helps to tell the general story overall, but also has its own particular small story within that episode. He watched the new episode of NCIS last night. The Big Bang Theory had a total of 279 episodes. My favorite episode of The Simpsons was the one with Mr. Sparkle. Our fourth vocabulary word for today is season. A season is a group of episodes together which contribute to the overall series. Most TV shows will start their season in September and finish their season in May. Usually there are around 20 episodes in a season. And then there are many different seasons in the overall TV show. The popular TV show Game of Thrones had eight seasons. I mentioned that Criminal Minds is one of my favorite TV shows. It had over 320 episodes and lasted for 15 seasons. That means that 15 years, basically, different episodes were aired. So within those 15 seasons, there were a total of 320 some odd episodes. Expression number five is remote. This is the remote control for the TV. Most people don't say remote control though. We usually just say remote. The remote is used for turning the power off and on, turning the volume up and down, and changing the channels. Our sixth vocabulary word for today is channel, a TV channel. When you're watching TV, each channel has a number and a name. Some TV channels will have many different types of TV shows, and some TV channels will specialize in certain types of programming. For example, the shopping channel is a TV channel that only shows products that you can buy using your credit card. Channels like CNN focus on delivering just the news, or TSN is a channel that focuses on just sports. Our seventh vocabulary word for today is network. A network is a media company, a broadcasting company that will control TV shows. It will distribute TV shows and then show them on TV for people to watch. So a network usually owns several different TV channels 
or has their own particular TV channel. In Canada, the three most popular TV networks or TV channels are CBC, CTV, and Global. However, in Canada, we also have access to American TV networks and American TV channels, such as ABC or NBC or Fox. CBC is the oldest network in Canada. Some of its popular shows include Hockey Night in Canada and Kim's Convenience, which is a great sitcom to help you improve your English. Expression number eight is broadcast or air. Both of these expressions can be used to describe a TV show that is shown on television, that is being transmitted from the TV station to your TV. We use the expression to broadcast or to air. Usually, most people, I think, prefer to use the expression air in Canada. However, the word broadcast has the same meaning and is also used. Global News is broadcasting live footage of the recent event. Grey's Anatomy airs new episodes every week. The Simpsons airs on Fox. Expression number nine is channel surfing. Channel surfing means that when you are watching TV, you're not focusing on any particular program. You're not staying on any one channel for very long. You are going through the channel, maybe stop, you watch one channel for a while, go through the channel some more. Well, that looks interesting. Go through the channel some more. So channel surfing means to quickly go through channels and change them without focusing for too long on any one particular program. For expression number 10, I want to teach you three expressions to talk about the volume on TV, adjusting the audio. Audio means the sound coming from the TV. If you can't hear because the volume is too low, you want to increase the volume. But most native speakers won't say, increase the volume. They will just say, turn it up. I can't hear, can you please turn it up? The opposite of to turn something up is to decrease the volume. And we use the expression to turn it down. Ah, it's too loud. Can you please turn down the volume? Turn it down. If you want to completely eliminate the volume on the TV and make it completely quiet with no audio and just the visual, you will push the mute button. Mute means there is no sound. Expression number 11 is run. It doesn't mean running like this. When we talk about TV, run means the length of time that a particular TV show is on the air broadcasting new episodes. Do you know what the longest running TV show in history is? The longest running TV show is The Simpsons. The Simpsons has run for almost 700 episodes and over 32 seasons. The Game of Thrones ended its run in May 2019. Expression number 12 is rerun. The prefix re means again. So a rerun is a noun, which means a TV show that is actually finished making new episodes is being shown again. So it's the same TV show that aired maybe weeks or months ago and you can see the episodes again. It's a rerun, not a new episode. TV shows like Happy Days and MASH finished broadcasting before I was born. However, I have seen many episodes through reruns. Although I've seen the TV show Friends many times, I still really enjoy watching the reruns. Expression number 13 is prime time. Prime time means the number one time of the day, the peak time for people to watch TV. Prime time is from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. on weekday nights. Most popular TV shows are shown and broadcast during prime time. Expression number 14 is genre. 
Genre means the style or type of TV show that you are watching. I want to introduce you to common types or common genres of TV shows. Surprisingly, the most common genre of TV show in Canada is news programs. Canadians love to watch news on TV more than any other type of program. Another popular type of show that a TV network will air is a sports match. So a sports competition. I mentioned that CBC broadcasts Hockey Night in Canada. Perhaps one of the most popular types of TV shows, one of the most popular genres is a drama. A TV drama means that something very dramatic is happening. Usually there's lots of action and suspense, maybe even some romance. Some more recent popular dramas include things such as Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, The Crown, Walking Dead. Recently, my husband and I have been watching many episodes of The Blacklist, a very exciting drama if you haven't seen it. During the daytime, a really popular genre of TV show is a soap opera. Sometimes people will shorten this expression to just the word soaps. Soap operas are dramas, specifically I'd say melodramas, where the acting is a little bit over the top and too much compared to regular acting you see in TV shows. And these melodramas, soap operas, will follow romantic stories and will spend lots of time with each of the characters. Soap operas are usually shown during the daytime when most people are at work or at school. So they were originally first popularized by housewives. Some popular soap operas include Days of Our Lives, The Young and the Restless, and the longest running soap opera, Coronation Street. One of the other most popular genres of TV shows is a comedy. Comedies are the types of TV shows that will make you laugh. A short form for comedy is sitcom. Sitcom specifically is short for situation comedy, but no one says that. Everyone just says sitcom. And the majority of comedies that are broadcast on TV are sitcoms. Some popular comedies or sitcoms that you can use to help improve your English are Friends, Modern Family, How I Met Your Mother, and Kim's Convenience. Those would be my top four recommendations of English TV shows to watch. Can you guess which genre makes up more than half of all TV shows that have been created over the last decade? The answer is reality TV shows. Reality TV shows now make up more than 50% of TV broadcasting. Reality TV shows are unscripted and usually involve regular people or rich people or interesting people and they are followed around with cameras filming their lives. Some reality TV shows are also set up to be like a competition between people. For example, shows like Survivor or Big Brother or The Biggest Loser. Other TV shows just let you enjoy watching and feeling like you're inside people's lives. Things such as The Real Housewives or Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Another genre of TV show is a talk show. A talk show is the type of TV show where there is a host and the host will interview guests. Often celebrity guests or interesting people on their TV show and they will discuss a variety of different issues, usually with some comedy thrown in. The host is the person running the talk show, and as a result, the majority of talk shows are named after their host. So the name of the talk show is the name of the person hosting the talk show. Some popular talk shows include The Oprah Winfrey Show, The Ellen DeGeneres Show, the Jimmy Kimball Show. My personal favorite talk show would be The Late Late 
Night Show with James Corden. Another very popular genre of TV show is a game show or a quiz show. Game shows and quiz shows involve people who are trying to win prizes by doing things on TV. These people are usually not famous, not celebrities. They are ordinary people who are testing their skills or testing their knowledge in some way. The people who are on these shows, we use the word contestants. They're contestants on a game show. And similar to the way a talk show had a host, a game show usually has a popular host as well. Some common game shows or quiz shows include things such as who wants to be a millionaire, the price is right, family feud, wheel of fortune, and my personal favorite that I used to watch with my father, Jeopardy. Those were the most popular genres of TV shows. But if you'd like to learn more vocabulary connected to genres in movies and TV shows, check out a video I made about movie genres over here. Expression number 15 for today is binge watching. If you binge watch a show, it means that you are watching many episodes of that TV show in a short amount of time. Netflix is one of the most popular streaming services that allow you to watch TV whenever you want and as many episodes, as many seasons as you want. So lots of people are binge watching their favorite TV shows. So today you learned over 15 different expressions all connected to TV. I hope these expressions will help you to be able to discuss your favorite TV shows in English. And now it's time for question of the day. Today's question is, please tell me about your favorite TV show. Describe your favorite TV show using expressions from today's lesson. Let me know about it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this lesson. If you found it useful, please subscribe to Jen's Jugyo and give this video a thumbs up. Good luck with your English studies. See you in the next lesson.